What's up YouTube? What's up Vape Land? Welcome back to Tough Luck Vapes. And I got one question for you guys. Are you guys ready to be a fog machine? That's right. This box mod that we are going to be checking out today blows some monstrous clouds. So sit back, grab your vape, and let's jump right into this review. This was sent over for the purpose of a review from elementvape.com. They currently have this in stock in all colors available for only $67.95. So after this review, you can click the link down in the description and go pick yourself up one or check out what else they got. Like the new Goon LP is now available over there as well. So this is the new all-in-one RDTA box mod. This actually features the Skyhook RDTA from Smoke. And the Alien. And what they did is they took both of those products and combined them together. Gave it a 9 mil juice capacity and made this awesome 220 watt temp controlled dual 18650 box mod. Hey, you guys know my thoughts on the Skyhook RDTA as a, as a, a loan by itself single atomizer. I hated it. So let's find out if I'm going to love or hate this as an all-in-one kit. But the best way to do that is to dive up close and unbox it and check it all out. So let's do that, sit back, relax, grab a vape, and I'll meet you guys up close. All right, guys, so here we are with the Aliens Cloud Machine, and this is the Skyhook RDTA box mod from Smoke. And what this is is actually the Alien box mod with the Skyhook RDTA from Smoke made all into one device. So we're going to have a quick look at the packaging, go over some things, unbox it, and then I'm going to show you guys the actual device. We're going to wick it up and we're going to vape on it and I'm going to give you guys my pros and my cons. Here on the side, it's going to let you know all about the device, that it's an all-in-one design. 220 watts of maximum power. It's got a 9 mil built-in tank. It's got a big side fire bar, a .96 inch OLED screen, floating velocity post. You can run it in single or dual coil. It's got a removable Delrin drip tip. It's got multiple different airflow adjustments and it also gives you an additional airflow control ring that is just side airflow instead of side airflow and bottom airflow. Then here on the back, it's gonna let you know a little bit about it if you guys wanna read that. Then down here, it's just going to let you know that it's a trademark of smoke, some little icons, and then you also have your scratch and sniff to make sure you are using an authentic Smoke Alien Skyhook RDTA box mod. Now, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All you do is slide this cardboard off, and you are with this awesome smoke packaging that we were used to seeing by now. Simple, plain, it's got smoke right here. On the bottom, it's just got designed by Smoke, smoketech.com, made in China. Now let's open it up and see what you get. All right, so here we are. After taking the box off, you get this little do not eat gel shit. Then you get the Smoke Alien Skyhook RDTA box mod right off the jump. This is the black and gunmetal version. It does come with a build already pre-installed. And it comes with your airflow controller, the one with side and bottom airflow. We will do a full look of the mod in just one second. Let's finish unboxing it. To get to the rest of the it. stuff, all you do is pull off this foam insert. You're going to have this little cover right here. You just pull your finger, pop it off, and you're going to access all the rest of the goodies with the Skyhook RDTA box mod. Right out the jump, you are going to get your Skyhook RDTA box mod manual. And I highly recommend checking into this manual. I'll let you know all about the device, all the specs, how to operate it, what things to do to clean it, how to clean it, everything like that. And it also even goes over doing firmware upgrades and all that good stuff as well. Next, you are going to get the quality control card to let you know that it has passed quality control. And it's also your warranty information as well. Just this little card. You can also check out the Smoke app that I've talked about in previous Smoke reviews as well. And also with this card, you are going to get the smoke uh, safe battery card 
to identify your batteries to make sure you are using a safe wrapped battery in this device. They do not want you using batteries that look like this. Next, you are going to get this Delrin or some kind of material, but I'm pretty sure this is Delrin. But here is your Singer coil plug. Pretty sweet. You're going to get the famous smoke bag with some extra O-rings, four additional post screws for the Velocity post deck or build deck, and you are going to get an Allen key. You're also going to get some Japanese organic cotton already cut for your atomizer, a micro USB charging cable and firmware upgrade cable as well. And last but not least, you are going to get your optional second side airflow, airflow control ring. This is your second AFC ring by default. It is going to come with the side airflow and bottom airflow. And then you also have an optional one where you can run just side airflow and not bottom airflow as well. Now that we got all the extras out of the way, let's actually check out the device. All right, guys. So you guys seen all the extras. You've seen the packaging. Now, before we go over this actual device and break it down, show you guys everything about it, just let me read some specs off of the website about this RDTA Skyhook box mod. So it's an all-in-one design. It's 129 millimeters tall by 50 millimeters wide, and then it's 9 millimeters thick. It's got a 9 mil built-in Skyhook RDTA tank, as you see right here. This has got a maximum output of watt it's up to 220 watts and all the way down to six watts it's got a maximum voltage output of eight volts it will fire all the way down to a 0 0.06 ohms which is very surprising it supports nickel 200 titanium and stainless steel heating elements and also tcr it's made out of a premium stainless steel construction with this little carbon fiber sticker. It's available in multiple different colors that you can check out using the links down below in the description. It's got this giant enlarged 0.96 inch OLED display that is matrix and highly intuitive. And it's also the same display that we've seen on the Alien box mod as well. It's got a stealth firing bar mechanism right here, nice and clicky. No button. And then overall, you have these two buttons right here on the bottom, which is for your wattage up and wattage down. And then you also have your micro USB port right here. Go over this Skyhook RDTA itself. This was available as its own purchase. You can purchase this RDTA to use on all your other box mods as well. But they also made it to where it fits with this device, and it's an all in one. Well, I think this RDTA shines 10 times better as an all-in-one kit than it does on its own. But so, vel floating velocity style design for the post uh, itself for the positive and negative post. It comes with this spaced dual core fused Clapton build already installed inside of it, ready to go. All you need to do is wick it up. It does have 2.5 millimeter diameter terminal post holes right here, as you can see. And they're a little bit oval shaped, so you're going to have no problem fitting large builds in here. So that's a really good thing. Then this is able to be ran in single coil or dual coil build configurations, which is really easy to use fill port, which right here, all you do is unscrew this. And you just blip your juice right in there, just like that, and then tighten this back down. Multiple different airflows that I've already showed you guys. You have your velocity, I'm sorry, your Kennedy style bottom airflow right here. That comes right up underneath the coils. You also have side airflow. Now running this AFC ring, you can run just bottom airflow or you can run it all the way open and just adjust your side airflow. But if you don't want to use bottom airflow at all, you can just switch out your actual AFC rings and use just side airflow as well. It does include this Delrin wide board drip tip. I wish this was a goon drip tip as it would be make it even better, but it is not. But I have found out that my the tip.com tfv8 drip tips right here. see right here this is for the smoke tfv8 cloud beast actually does fit and fit snug on top of the skyhook rdta as you can see the silver inlay in there that is your uh, side airflow controller you can see you can close it all the way off on both sides or run all three close one close two close three and just run bottom i personally like it better with just running the bottom airflow wide open let me go ahead. Now that you guys got to see all the specs and go over everything like that, now let me show you how this device actually works. 
So basically, without looking at this top half from the bottom down, this is just the Alien mod itself. So if you're familiar with the Alien, you're going to be familiar with how the device operates. And it's basically like we've seen with all smoke devices. It's just this one has a much larger screen. Same layout where you click the button so many times to access the menu. Then you choose wattage mode, soft, hard, all that good stuff. And it is firmware upgradable. Your battery door right here, all you do is slide it open. And then down inside there, it's going to let you know that this one is positive up. This one is negative up. Then right here on the actual door, it's going to let you know positive side up, negative side up. Then also, this is pretty important too, is let you know that this battery option right here is battery A. This one is battery B. So when you power the device up, it's actually going to show you both batteries in here and show you as they drain equally. And you can match them up to make sure you know which battery is in each indicator. This one is spring loaded. Pretty cool. I sat there and played with that for like 10 minutes when I first got it. The door is a little flimsy, but I've actually had no problems with it. It does lock right down. They do give you a little finger thing to slide your finger up to open it. Clicks right in, locks in place. For the paint itself, it does seem like more of a matte finish right here than this carbon fiber sticker. And then I have like this gunmetal sparkly paint, which the paint on this seems to be better protected than on here with this matte black. I haven't had any peeling or anything like that, but hey, I will also say that this is a fingerprint magnet for sure. Now that we've went over all that, let's actually just show you guys the top part, show you how that part works, and then we'll throw some batteries in and go through the menu. One thing I do want to point out though, as you can see with this black color, the screen is a more darker tinted, but you can still view everything great, and you can see the smoke emblem right there. On the back, it does have this carbon fiber sticker, Skyhook, RDTA box, 220 watt, temp control. You have a little lookout right here for your glass to see how, how high your e-liquid is, which is pretty cool because you can just tilt it on the side, all your e-liquid will drain over here. And that works perfectly too because it is built actually on this angle that you see right here with this black where this sh shiny part is right here. That's the bottom of your tank, and here's the top. And it's actually made on this angle to completely hold 9 mils of e-liquid. The firing bar is very clicky. And if you squeeze down here, you're not going to do anything. But if you squeeze up here, it is going to fire. You can squeeze it like this to fire it, or you can fire it with your thumb or your finger, however way you like. Now, to access your actual build deck, all you do is actually grab off your top sleeve and inside here you are going to have your drip tip and your actual airflow control ring here's what the top half looks like so this is your airflow controller and as you can see there is no single coil option to close off all the airflow on one side that is where this piece comes into play but i still don't really see how you're actually going to be able to do single coil and block off one airflow completely but we'll talk about that later on but here is the top that you can pop your TFEA drip tips in, or you can use the default tip that they give you. It is very large and in charge, and it's held on by two O-rings. So how this works is you just take your AFC ring that you want to use and drop it back in place. It's held on by two O-rings, and they are very snug. And by default, like I told you, you are going to get two pre-made coils already installed for you. And these coils are actually very nice. I've had no problems with them. As you can see, I've already been using them, but I ripped the wicks out to be able to show you guys this video. They come already spaced out and already mine. When I first put my batteries in and fired them up, they're already glowing evenly. I just cleaned them off to make sure there was no oils or anything like that. The post screws, they're still Allen key based with post screws, but they actually seem to work well. It's holding my uh, leads tight. I haven't had to retighten them or loosen them or anything like that. And as you can see, what they mean by floating velocity post is actually they are floating. Now, one other thing that I do want to point out is that you are not able to use any other atomizer with this actual device. You can only use this Skyhook RDTA box mod together as an all-in-one kit. But now I have heard that the Skyhook box mod and smoke are going to come out with either a 510 attachment or different deck options available for you to purchase separately to use on this device. And how that would work, you actually just go ahead and grab your deck itself and go ahead and adjust it out. 
and as you can see you have very big large and in charge wick slots your wicks are going to just go right into there and i'll show you guys how i wick it and everything like that in a few and then here is your actual positive post and it's actually going to make a connection right here on this positive pin in there the threading itself on here is very nice i've had no issues with it not threading correctly or mis threading or anything like that they're nice and smooth then let's say you want to access your juice fill port unscrew it the threads on here are also nice this is made out of stainless steel it's got like a little dripper bottle dripping some e-liquid to show you and as you can see this is like a plastic it says it's pyrex and it looks to be frosted right there you can see all the wiring down in there but it's supposed to be safe because you're able to even run water through this to be able to clean it out if you want to swap e-liquid because this will hold nine mils of e-liquid now the other rdta box the ijoy this part is a little bit different it had a different thread the threading was on the inside this one is raised up so it's much more easier to turn and take off and add on but now we want over all that you see the up and down button you see where your screen is your micro usb port your firing bar your carbon fiber sticker the colors available how the deck works now it's time to throw in some batteries and load this bad boy up show you guys the screen go over some of the menu options and then we are going to throw some wicks in there and we're going to then fill it up with some e-liquid and then jump back up to facetime to vape on it negative up positive up it's going to come on and say smoke and it's not going to power up automatically you actually have to click your fire bar five times smoke version point version 1.0.4 sky hook i love how the batteries load up and then as you can see what i was saying is that you can see the a and the b right here that's going to line up with your batteries inside here let you know which battery is draining faster or not draining as fast that way you know if you have a bad cell and whatever too i do like that a lot you are going to have your wattage what mode you're in soft normal or hard your voltage, your resistance, your amps, your mode that you're in, which we're currently in wattage. You're going to have your board temperature right here, your puff counter. I've currently done 468 puffs since I've got this. You are going to get the new or same or old question. So it's asked me if it's a new or same coil. I'm just going to say new. And you're also going to have a timer, a puff timer right here on the bottom. So as long as you click this fire bar, it's going to count right here how long your puffs were to access the menu it's just going to be three clicks one two three mode puffs settings power and back to mode now let's say you want to go into the settings all you do is hold your fire bar for a long press and you have screen time screen lock contrast adjust your own so you can manually adjust them and then download mode for when you are doing firmware upgrades. You have watt mode, temp mode, memory mode. And memory mode is going to be your TCRs. But now let's just jump into temp mode. You can set your strength, which you basically is setting your wattage. And you have to do it right here if you want to adjust your wattage when you are in temp control. Let's just say 51 watts. Then you choose the coil material, nickel, titanium, stainless steel. And then you can also set the TCR value if you want. And now we are in temp control at 315 degrees Celsius. And it does go round robin up to Fahrenheit and back down to Celsius if you like. Then now in temp control, it's going to say mode temp. Your watts that you are currently applying to the atomizer, which is 51 watts. Then everything else is the same. Now let's jump back into wattage mode. Then it's going to ask you your strength if you want it soft normal or hard and basically all your strength is is your ramp up time if you want a quick ramp up if you want it to be normal if you want it hard it's going to give you a little bit more power than what you have set on the screen normal is just going to be it's going to stay at this and then soft is going to be it's going to start lower and then climb up to that so now let's just check out the coil builds on here make sure they are glowing evenly then we'll throw in some wicks They seem to be glowing just perfect, guys. No hot spots, no nothing. They're ready for some wicks. For this wicks. part, I'm just going to use some regular Japanese organic cotton pads. 
You can use whatever kind of wicking material you want, but if you are using an organic cotton pad, I do recommend to just peel off the first layer of each. quick this one is going to be a three millimeter coil so you want to make your wicks pretty large so that way you can fit them in here and that they are nice and snug now before you trim your wicks what I'd highly recommend doing is unscrewing your deck if you haven't already you can do this either way but what I do is I leave mine on, but it's only because I screw it after I already get my wicks in. And how I test it is I actually pull it down and I want to cut my wicks to where they're just basically passing this black lip right here of the actual device. And I'll show you guys why after I get these wicks in so you guys can see why I do it to there. Alright, so here's what it should look like guys. After you get your wicks through, everything's done like that. You want to make sure you don't have none of your wicks going over top of the bottom airflow. So that way you will get leaking down this as well. You want to make sure that they are nice and snug in the here and down into your wicking channels. As you can see, they are very large and easy to get your wicks through and you can even use some extra cotton and wick. As you see, this side right here is a little bit touching my juice flow, I mean my airflow controller or airflow hole. Fix that so it's not covering my airflow. Then all you want to do to make sure it's good is that your wicking is coming past this thread right here on the bottom just by a little bit. You don't need a lot, but you do want to make sure that none of this wicking is bent over onto your threads for when you screw it back down. But this is plenty of space and wicking for you to have and as long as it looks like that you will be good so now let's throw it back on top of our skyhook box mod all you want to do is make sure that your deck is screwed down all the way and very snug you don't want it to be loose because then you could get a short atomizer connection coming across your screen now the next thing to do is to pre-wet your cotton and then fill it up with some e-liquid. So let's go ahead and Today do that. for this video, we are gonna be vaping on some raspberry iced tea from AZ Vape Co. This is a three milligram, 60 mil bottle, 70 VG, 30 PG ratio. And this one is actually coming from Strictly Juice. I will have a link down to them as well in the description and as well as to AZ Vape Co's Instagram and Facebook page. It is made in the USA. It does leave you all the important information that you need to know. And the e-liquid is actually a really clear e-liquid. So we're going to vape this together right here. And I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on what I think of this e-liquid up at FaceTime. Let me give it a shake. Now, let's go ahead and pre-wet these wicks and see how she vapes. Now, you got your wick saturated. Now, all you want to do is unscrew this top. You might have a little bit of a mess, but it's all right. You can wipe all that up. And what I recommend is just take your top cap, just pop it on there while you are doing this part, and go ahead and fill her up. Alright, so I got her filled up all the way up to the top, and as you can see, it took a good bit of the e-liquid, so I can honestly say I think this is more closer to 10 mils of e-liquid than the 9 next step is you just want to make sure you are still firing and not getting any shorts so it's saying it's coming in at a 0.281 94 watts let's see if she vapes and we are getting vapors guys so and it's really easy to make sure basically that you are your wicks stay wet all you gotta do tilt it your wicks are getting wet guys that's simple as that it's almost similar to a squonker this being an all the all in one kit your tanks right here but you don't even need the squonk you just tilt you're good to go last and final step that you need to do is just choose what afc ring you want i am going to be using this one with the bottom airflow 
I'm just going to go ahead and pop it on there. Close off my side airflow. And I'm good to go, guys. So that's the Skyhook RDTA box mod. Now, let's jump back up to FaceTime and have a vape on this box mod and this AZ Vapeco Raspberry Ice Tea. See you guys up top, guys. Welcome back up top, guys. So that's the Skyhook RDTA box mod from Smoke. And I actually like calling this the Alien Skyhook. And according to the box, it's the Aliens Cloud Machine. Now, you guys got to see everything broken down. We went over it, checked it all out. Now, before we go over pros and cons, we need a vape on this bad boy. And then I'll give you guys my pros and cons. So sit back, grab your vape, have a couple vapes with me. motherfucker so I will agree this is a fog machine and I'm rocking just bottom airflow rocking this thing with wide open airflow side and bottom it becomes insanely a cloud beast I mean it's a little bit of flavor but gigantic clouds here let's show you guys real quick wide open airflow bottom and side 95 94 watts matter of fact we'll even crank it up we'll do 105 105 watts, airflow wide open across the board. Let's have a vape. No restriction at all. It just feels like you're breathing. I mean, listen to this. That is nuts. Let me have one more toke and I'll let them go over pros and cons. So as you guys can see, this thing is a cloud and fog monster. If you rock the airflows wide open. Me personally, I like rocking it with just the bottom airflow. That gives me good flavor, good vapor production, and it's just overall a good solid vape. But before we get into pros and cons, I do just want to say something. I originally was going to do this video doing a comparison to the iJoy one and this one. And I was really skeptical over this box mod just because of all the negative stuff that I had happened with the iJoy version. I had three of them, and all three of them had different problems than the first one that I had. This just had a bad experience, so I decided not to even waste my time doing that, and just to give you guys the full look over the Skyhook RDTA box mod. That really has impressed me by far. The Alien mod itself, overall, is a solid mod. I mean, it's overall a really good device. 220 watts, temp control, firmware upgradable. Decent battery life, an awesome screen. I mean, overall, you can't complain over the Alien mod itself. It's compact, it's nicely made, nice clicky fire bar, no battery rattle, even no button rattle. I mean, unless you go like this, that's the only way you're getting some button rattle or button noise. But it's a solid little piece. Now, using it all together as a Skyhook RDTA box mod, I've been really impressed and I was one of the guys that was skeptical over it that said I ain't gonna like it nah that ain't for me I like swapping juices out I like using my own atomizers then I got it said hell with it threw some batteries in vaped it and I was mind blown I was really impressed I really do like this um, pros and cons let's start off with cons my biggest con is going to be that you are stuck using this and only this atomizer, the Skyhook RDTA. Now, Smoke has mentioned that they are going to come out with different deck options, and they already have given you additional airflow control, so you can customize it and fine-tune it, stuff like that. Um, and they even said they're going to come out with different decks that you're going to be able to just screw in and all that good stuff. But I also heard that they might even come out with a 510 adapter that you'll just be able to screw onto there. And you can then just screw on your own RDA right on top. But you'll still have this fill port and the tank not being used. But some people might like that. Some people might not. I was one of the people that I thought I would want that until I got it. Now I'm really enjoying this as it is. I would like to see some different deck options come out. Maybe a goon style. Maybe a post list. I mean there's tons of different things that they could do with this setup right here. The Skyhook RDTA itself, I did not like at all. But the Skyhook RDTA box mod, running this as a full kit, this is how the Skyhook should be. Skyhook by itself was a, a thumbs down for me. But this right here as an all complete kit, the Skyhook in this box mod, 
as an all-in-one, that's a double thumbs up. I really do like that. But my other kind with this is that they did not give you no 510 adapter. So you cannot use your own 510 drip tips. And I wish they would have just used the goon tips. But as you guys can see, the TFV8 custom drip tips from justthetip.com do work on top of the Skyhook RDTA. It is available in many different colors, so that's a plus. And really, they're my only two cons. My only other little thing that I was iffy about is that some people might think that screen's a little too dark and dim. But I have noticed that it's only on this color version because they made it to look all dark and murdered out. The other ones, the white ones, the blue ones, all that stuff, the red and black, that is a little bit more brighter screen. But honestly, it's actually very readable for me. My only other thing that I was a little bit iffy about was this tank right here. What happens if it cracks? Is there liquid going to get inside into the board like I have with my iJoy? One, but after using this for a while, running water through the tank, dumping it out, cleaning it, checking it, and even trying to make it leak, I haven't had any issues at all. So I was really impressed with that. I really do give Smoke a thumbs up for how they built this one. I really do think they did a highly and great job putting this one all together and it was worth the wait and overall it's a solid piece but now let's talk about pros pros i love the firing bar this was the perfect mod for the alien was the perfect mod for smoke to use to make this all-in-one complete kit it's a lightweight it's a nice compact mod dual 18650 nice large and in charge screen it was a fan favorite of 2016 many youtube reviewers gave it it's their best 18 dual 18650 device um overall i mean it's just a slim compact mod i do like how they did their fill port on here that it's raised that the threads are up here instead of inside it i like the big large screen i do like the dim feature on this all murdered out one I love the sparkle diamond effect on the carbon fiber black murdered out edition. I do like the Pyrex glass. Um, this holding 9 mils to me is a perfect amount. I don't need any more. I don't need any less. I do like that they give you all them extras of the extra additional uh, airflow control ring. So you can have just side or you can run it at just bottom or you can run it with wide open everything. The battery life is actually pretty damn good. I rocked this out for my first day using some Samsung 25R batteries. And my first day with the build in it at 95 watts and it lasted me over 8 hours. And that was vaping it constantly. I just used this all day that first day that I got it. From like 11 a.m. all the way up to like 11 p.m. that night when I went to bed. That was when my batteries were told me low battery. So battery life is great. I've actually been rocking these batteries in here now since 5 a.m. And they're not even at halfway yet. Let me have a toke. And then I'll let you guys know if this FDA came and took this motherfucker from me, would I go out and get another one? Mm, that's actually a really nice vape. And that e-liquid in here, that AZ Vape Co. Raspberry Iced Tea, actually tastes damn, damn point on, on point with a raspberry iced tea. It actually reminds me of that Arnold Palmer, them 99 cent big ass cans that you get of like raspberry iced tea. That's what that tastes like, and maybe that's what they're going for with the design and the AZ Vape Co. name. I don't know how I feel about that, if that is the reason, because that's maybe copyright, but it's not about that. But I do want to say this is some good stuff. You guys are interested in trying this. I will have a link down in the description. And they're also the same people that make the Vape Burst e-liquid, which this is a strawberry pink Starburst. And this one as well is damn good. But now, if the FDA came and took this bad boy from me, would I go out and get another one? For the price of this, that you can go get this right now over at elementvape.com for $67.95. Hell yeah. I would definitely go pick me up another one. This is an awesome and solid mob. It is a really enjoyable piece. It's one that you can grab and go and go for a long drive. It's just that good of a device. And it's one that I can see myself using for a while. So if you're a person that don't mind vaping the same e-liquid for a good bit of time, if you have a favorite e-liquid, something like that, this is something I highly recommend you checking out. I was really impressed with this. And this, compared to the iJoy one, this one gets my vote 10 times over. This right here, guys, the Skyhook RDTA box mod is a home run. I've really, really been enjoying this. And the vape is actually really nice. 
I was actually a little afraid when I seen um, how the airflow and stuff was designed. I'm like, man, it's going to have no flavor whatsoever. This thing is going to be a TFV8 RDTA box mod. It's going to be super clouds and no flavor. But rocking this with just bottom airflow, the Kennedy style airflow, wide open, rocking it just like that, it's actually stellar flavor and vapor production. I've been impressed. Firmware upgradable, nice battery door, dual 18650, temp control, TCR, 220 watts. I mean, what else do you got to ask? This is a two thumbs up home run, and that's the Skyhook RDTA box mod from Smoke, and this is Tough Luck Vapes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Skyhook RDTA box mod. And this was sent over for review from elementvape.com. I will have a link down to them as well. Feel free to go check them out. They got tons of awesome products and they're always getting in the latest products as soon as they come out. They got great prices, fast shipping. So this is Tough Luck Vapes. Thank you for vaping with me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember, keep it foggy. Shh. <laughs>